Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Moonride. I'm here with Sue Coop and BCA, and we're uh, going to do some work with the ley lines today. I've got a message, uh, some of you might know, from Spirit to come and help recalibrate the ley lines here uh, at this time of solstice. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about this uh, because, frankly, uh, BCA and Sue know more about this than me. So <laughs> I'd like I don't to know about just, that. <laughs> I, I think you do. I'd like to just say a few, you know, ask a few questions just to give uh, everybody an idea of you know what we're working with here. Um, maybe uh, Sue, you could start and just you know sort of tell us what the ley lines are and what the connection. Okay. Is. Sure. Um, they've been described, the ley lines and the grid, they, they intermingle, but it has been referred to, to as like the blood vessels of the earth. It carries the energy throughout the earth and through us. Some places where it crosses, it's much stronger, which is where you get your vortexes and such. But it's, um, if you're sensitive enough, you can feel them as Dave, you, you experienced recently when on your travels, yes. It's exciting, but it's, it's just a matter of connecting in with the earth energies and feeling them. And then you can actually add your own energy and to boost it, stabilize yeah. it, harmonize with, with the planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's uh, yeah. fun, yeah. it's very yeah. fun. And it's, and it's also, it's, it's a two-way street, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a relationship. All right, it's not a one-way transaction, it's a relationship. So the healing that we can do from grounding and nourishing ourselves with the presence, the solidity, the security, the, the reliability of earth. And I think that's being called into question now more and more and more. And I wonder about the, the drive behind that, about why we're being called to question earth. I'm not sure that's a good direction for us to take. I think that the reliability, the confidence and the trust in the earth is something that we need to nurture. Mm -hmm. And, and this is a, a place, a meditation where we can begin to do that and to discover that we can trust, we can benefit from earth energies and we can allow the earth to benefit, benefit from our presence. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. I agree. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, we also spoke a little bit about the importance of solstice and uh, this moment in time and what it means. Um, again, can we start with Sue? What do you think? How would you summarize the meaning of solstice? Mm, I think it's a time for rebirth, renewal, embracing, shedding the old, embracing mm -hmm. the new. Mm -hmm. Just um, <laughs> it's all about growth to me and expansion, harmonizing, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. merging, yes. The, mer yeah. merging all of the energies cohesively yeah. into a harmonic that's viable for everyone. Right. Terrific. Right. And uh, BCA, you said a little bit too about the masculine and feminine that I found really interesting. Oh, yes, um, Father's Day. Okay, that's that's a mnemonic for the for the patri patriarchy, really. I and in and I don't mean I'm not coming down. I'm just saying that there are institutional forms that we've all been born into and grown into, and I think that this is a moment uh, for us to when we think about growth, we think about expansion, but we also have to think about rest, rest. So mm -hmm. there's the polarity. And part of being on this earth is about recognizing polarity and managing polarity. So you have the polarity of the masculine, the polarity of the feminine, and bringing those into a form of balance. So this is a lovely, this is a lovely time. The synchro, synchro, net, synchronic forces have come together for us to consciously bring up the feminine, the Gaia energies to help and tell the patriarchal energies you can rest <laughs> yes you can rest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's it's time now for the caring the nurturing the awareness of relations not in a hierarchical form but in a horizontal plane mm -hmm. of relationships of co-creation 
even the economic models are talking more and more about not just capitalism, you know, kill or be killed. That's a very patriarchal model. We're now talking about the horizontal. How can we help each other? How can we co-create? And this meditation into the feminine, into the Gaia, the forces, can bring up into consciousness the power of the feminine mm -hmm. in to help the masculine, to bring them into balance. I'm not looking at this kind of, you know, let's attack. Right. I don't mean that at all. I mean to integrate, mm -hmm. integrate. Mm -hmm. That's what I Terrific. think, yeah. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start our meditation. I'm gonna welcome everybody who's watching to do this meditation along with us. Again, mm. uh, I was told by spirit that uh, if we can get enough people to do this uh, at around the same time, around the solstice, Always nice if you have a little bit of water handy because that is a great <laughs> catalyst. But if we can do this, we really can recalibrate uh, mm. the ley lines and um, you know, make the earth a little happier and more harmonic. So um, mm. can you uh, <clears throat> lead us, uh, be uh, say? Yes, yes, I certainly can. Okay, everybody find your seat, okay, and your chair. Um, on the floor, if you are, you could even do this lying down. Um, mm. But just turn your awareness inward. Turn your awareness to your inner life, your inner world. And we're going to direct our attention down, down. This is through the perineum, right? This is the spot which is between the anus and the sexual organs. Just straight down the center of your being, okay? <clears throat> Take a deep breath in, allow your belly to expand with that energy of air. And as you exhale, feel the sit bones, or if you're on your back, feel the coccyx area where you connect with solidity, right? Reliability, okay? We're now at 396 Hertz. This is the root chakra. Right. For those of you who have images of the waves, colors, tap into that. Make this a full sensory journey for yourself. And we're gonna work up through the chakra system and come back down. We're gonna access all of the energies that we have flowing through our bodies. Go up to the sacral, 417, the waters over the earth, cleansing the tides, the reliability, right? the moon, the tides, the movement that surrounds us on this earth. And breathe up once more into five, two, eight. This is the solar, the solstice, the place of light. This is within ourselves. This is within the nature that surrounds us. This is a part of our world. With this incarnation, five, two, eight. The fires of determination. Come up once more. We're now into six, three, nine, the heart. I want you to really check in with this pulse. This pulse of energy connecting with those around us, the earth herself, the green of nature. Breathing as we are one in this pulse. And as we come up once more into 741 hertz, this is the throat chakra, articulation where we speak the compassion, we speak the resonance, we ask others to join with us. As we rise once again to 852, the third eye, the seeing 
of energy, the seeing of our deep connection. Rise up once again to 963, the crown, where we dilate at the crown of our heads, opening the door to light, divine light that now travels down through the chakras, purple, blue, light blue, sky, nature, sun, water, earth core. And as we enter the earth core, we merge our pulse with that of the earth. <clears throat> well, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I can see these ley lines. Um, I'd be curious to know if you can see them in the way that I see them. What do you think, uh, Sue? Can you tell me what it looks like for you? Mm -hmm. I think, Sue, you've lost your sound. Now she's on mute. I was being polite. <laughs> okay, I always mute in meditation. I'm I'm just um what I'm seeing is the energy radiating out from us. Mm. It's going into the earth, but it's also expanding out and surrounding the earth. Mm. So it's covering the ley lines of the earth, of the air, and above the planet, but mostly it's concentrated in the first two levels the earth and the air that mm -hmm. I can just feel it radiating out. Um, imagine a, a mushroom cloud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and when it goes straight up explosively and then you see the big round ball mm -hmm. of energy expanding mm -hmm. out, that's what I'm seeing mm -hmm. as it's connecting and just mm -hmm. saturating everything. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. Yeah. And uh, BCA, how about you? I'm, I'm, I'm with ganglia. <laughs> ganglia. I'm, um, I, the image that came to me was of um, almost uh, like you could compare it to lightning in the sky. Mm. Only it's an internal um, energy, energy pathways that um, I know if you, if you follow Hugh Newman, who talks a lot about uh, ley lines and, uh, I think of earth energy lines, which are more organic in form. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think of us having neurons and the earth as having similar, the energy, uh, earth energy lines are, um, could be compared to the patterns of lightning yeah. that you find in nature, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, also comparable to images you might have of neurons firing in the human body. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a kind of a merging of our electrical pulses or energy pulses in our mm -hmm. bodies with that of the earth that mm -hmm. we see as lightning, but we feel, we feel with images uh, as energy and, uh, and just plugging in, mm -hmm. well, plugging, we're already in, mm -hmm. we're already in. I mean, we can't be out, right. but, but the awareness the awareness of that connectivity that we are in. I think that is what we're called, mm -hmm. we're called to do now, mm -hmm. is to just um, be. Mm. Mm. So the, the difference between the ley lines and the energy lines are that the ley lines run in straight lines, which is mm -hmm. very visible when you visit the sacred spots in England. And the energy lines are more like blood vessels with the little spider vessels that go out like the roots mm -hmm. of a tree everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. It. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the pulsing mm -hmm. is the heartbeat of the earth, just mm -hmm. pushing it out very much. I think our own body was patterned after that with the, the pulsing and the little spider webs roots going every which way. Mm -hmm. Well, you see it everywhere. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, just it's look a at repeating nature. pattern. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fractals. 
Mm -hmm. fractals. It's just repeat. Yes. Yeah. Endlessly. It's awesome. Yes. Yes. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. And I really want to encourage uh, viewers to see it in any way that you choose. It is mm. um, people, when we do this work, um, have a sort of customized impression mm. of, you know, how it looks. And I really encourage that because, you know, it is, we, it is sort of a little bit customized for us. Um, often, mm. of course, in the group, we sync up and we see exactly the same things, but um, it's okay to see them in the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Do uh, it has the same meaning. Um, mm -hmm. But what I find so interesting mm -hmm. about this work is that I feel like I'm not working. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm a vessel, just yep. to kind of get out of the way and let it happen. Um, mm, yeah, and I'm seeing oh. our, our um, you know, mm -hmm. friends from outer space that we've met before they're sort of standing off in the distance. Um, I know that's not the uh, the main purpose of our uh, journey today, but um, I can see them. In a way, I feel like we're um, you know fairly close to the earth, but we are still bringing, I know my ears ringing, but we're still bringing the uh, energy from above from, sort of through. From the, the source. Yeah, yeah. Source. we're all we're all manifestations of source each and yeah. every one of us we we look like a giant power led light blasting off or like an explosion when we get together and pull out energy it goes straight up so yes the uh the mm. space brothers and sisters love watching that and they love watching the connection that uh, happens to the earth and everything on it, everybody, everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. like watching it's, a light show to them. Right. And it's and it, for us, it's coming home. Yeah. Yes. Coming home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has very much that um, kind of calming feeling. Yeah, mm. of coming home. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to mm. indulge everybody to explore this work on a feeling level, on the level of your mm. heart. Um, there is no doing here. There's just being in this place and exploring it. Uh, we may uh, do this in one way uh, in a different way another time. Uh, right now, you know, how does it feel? What does it seem like to you? The purpose of this is not just for the three of us to do it, but for everyone to be able to do this work together and really, truly reconnect, mm. recalibrate with the earth mm. and mm. allow yourself to be transformed. Mm. Allow yourself to be in connection with both earth and sky uh, and connection with um, spirit. Mm. Mm. It feels great, doesn't it? Beautiful, it's beautiful. Good, mm. yeah, wonderful. Well, um, Sue, I think, uh, are we ready to come back down? Okay, I'll step us down. Okay, everybody take a deep breath, inhale in and exhale. We're starting in the crown chakra with the frequency of 963. We're stepping down, bringing ourselves back to our body, stepping down to 852 the third eye, bringing ourselves in, pulling our energy in, disconnecting, coming to ourselves. We're going down to 741, the throat chakra, pulling your energy in, balancing. Frequency 639, that's the heart chakra, bringing it in feeling energized, bringing it down to 528, third chakra, feeling balanced and relaxed. Second chakra, 417, again, balanced and relaxed. Number one, 396, grounding, disconnecting, containing our energy, feeling energized and relaxed. Thank you. Deep breath in and exhale. <sighs> Grounded. 
Great. How do you feel? Terrific. Mm. That always, it always amazes me. I don't, I don't realize what a profound shift that is. Mm -hmm. And until I come back. Mm -hmm. Yes, if, if you don't actually think about grounding fully, it's much easier on the body if you're doing it step by step versus a big slam and it mm. leaves you feeling disoriented and, yes. and fatigued. But if you can consciously bring yourself down in steps and pull your energy back down to your core, it's, it's much easier on the physical body as well as the mental. Ah, that's um, a really good advice. I'm going to follow. <laughs> yes, bingo. <laughs> right? <laughs> Another great piece of advice. I'm going to follow. Thanks so much uh, to both of you, BCA and Sue. Um, we are going to put a few links here to uh, information that'll tell you about the ley lines. Um, who was the uh, Hugh Newman, right? Mm, yeah, yes. there's going to be a yeah. Hugh Newman. Um, there's, uh, we're also going to link you to naturesnarrative.com. And uh, you can research further on the ley lines. And we'll be doing further work in the next couple of days on this topic. Thanks so Excellent. much to both Beautiful. of you. And thanks Beautiful. To thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.